Hey guys, and welcome back to Crypto Mischief, where I talk about my favorite thing in the entire world, cryptocurrency. Today we're talking about elephant money, elephant futures, the elephant token, and the flippening. What is the flippening? Apparently, it's just happened, so we're going to check out... We've been waiting for a year for this to happen finally the flippening looks like it's, it's happening it's happening <laughs> um i'm gonna go through some information about elephant money which i've not touched on before it's gonna be a bit detailed so we're gonna take it a bit slow and cover two things first we're gonna cover the elephant token and why it may just be about to go parabolic may not financial advice you do your own research there's a lot of information about elephant money out there then we're gonna check out elephant futures and see why it's looking even more bullish than it's ever looked before. Now, I've watched pros and cons videos about Elephant Futures for months. Uh, I'm still in it, and personally, I haven't actually taken profit yet. I've just been compounding it, uh, which may be foolish, may not be. I'm close to a claiming strategy now, though. We're going to have a look at that. And uh, we're going to have a look at an absolutely colossal account inside of Elephant Futures and consider the idea of why actually this colossal account is beneficial for the system and not detrimental, which is a bold statement when it comes to fixed yield ROI contracts, right? Because we've all been there before where a whale comes in, puts in a huge bag, and then what does he do? That's right, he pulls out more than everyone else. So why could it be that actually this large deposit is great for the ecosystem? We're gonna have a look at that too. So this all started yesterday. I was just doing my usual uh, futures compounding and I put out a tweet. Follow me on Twitter, at Crypto Mischief. I'll follow you back. My Elephant Status, that's their Twitter account. You should follow them too. Futures continues to march towards my first goal of $5,000. We can see it here. I have uh, 4,567 now. So about a week more and I'll be at my goal. I started this with about just under $1,000, compounded it all the way up to five grand. The thing about the elephant futures contract is you compound it by adding in more capital. You can't just compound without adding any more skin in the game. Every time you compound, you need to put a minimum of 200 BUSD in at the same time, which is a nice addition. And it's actually sped up my compounding journey, which is cool. I'm excited for the NFT launch too. We're not going to be talking about that today, uh, but we will soon. And elephant token has continued to outperform most tokens in this market. Who would like an update video? So I posted that. I got a load of uh, responses from different people. Uh, one guy in particular, um, <laughs> there's a couple that made me laugh. Brett was pretty funny. Brett said, it's all good until you try to withdraw your money and BT fucks you again. <laughs> oh, Brett. Uh, <laughs> uh, Crypto Stew uh, is a big proponent of elephant money. So is SK Crypto K. We're going to listen to some voice messages that he sent me. Uh, because he's pretty well versed in elephant money and much better versed than I am. So it's better just to hear it from the horse's mouth as opposed to me regurgitating what he says. So we're going to listen to that later. Uh, someone asked for an AMA with SK Crypto. Unfortunately, because I live in China, it uh, means I can't really handle it with the internet. Um, I have to run everything on VPNs. And if I do any kind of live streaming, usually after about 10 minutes, the VPN starts to get laggy and then the whole thing breaks down, then it returns or sometimes it doesn't return. It's just really tricky. Also, time zones are not um, ideal for talking to North Americans, which I'm assuming SK is. Uh, but yeah, so good comments, good engagement on it. So I thought, all right, let's get into it. So the first thing we want to talk about is the elephant token. Elephant token. Elephant money. This is elephant token here. This is a short chart going back to August, right, last year. And we've just seen pretty much a continuous rise march up, right? That is over 2x since September 2022. Um, to buy elephant money, first thing you want, might want to know is if you want to buy it, you need BNB. You come to elephant.money and you want to come to the buy elephant section, which would be here. Right, Let's see if I zoom out, yeah. Um, elephant, click on that, right. There is a 10% tax charged on all transfers, purchases, sells, swaps on the Elephant token, which create a perpetual community trust. These fees are split even, evenly between payments to existing holders and into the locked liquidity. 
I would suggest buying Elephant Token from the site because you get a 1.5% discount when you buy or sell the token from here. So very important to get that better price for the token by buying it from Bertha, right? Buy with Bertha. If we come to a max all-time chart on Elephant, you're going to see something interesting. Of course, we looked at this before. They had this huge run-up in price back in March of 2022, over a year ago, right? where it just went absolutely parabolic. Uh, unseen, really. This was just before the collapse of the crypto market, but we were already kind of ticking bearish by this point. But it just went on an absolute tear. Uh, but there was an exploit which happened, which meant that that fell all the way up back down to pre-pump prices, right? Since then, it has slowly recovered. Um, since this lowest dip at this point, we have seen a good um, rebound back and a slow march towards the upside. Um, which is kind of cor correlated and linked to this futures contract as well. Now, before this point, I believe Elephant had one locked LP, which was with Elephant Token and BNB. And after this point, they have now added a BUSD and Elephant um, LP token uh, pool as well. So they have two pools of locked liquidity, one with stablecoin, one with BNB coin. So that brings us to what the, exactly the flippening it is. So if we just quickly come in to look at this, right, this is this red line which is the treasury right of elephant inside of the protocol and here we have lp which is here and the lp would be in bnb and busd i believe and the flipping is when this red line of treasury overcomes the blue line of lps and you can see just as of today the treasury is now more than the lps that means the flipping has happened. What is the flippening? Well, we got to do some research there. Let's come over to Twitter. We'll watch this quick video about the flippening. Let's see if this works. In today's Just a Minute Elephant, we will be looking at the flippening. The flippening happens when Bertha, the treasury, accumulates more tokens than the combined liquidity pools. This is significant as it can mark the point at which the elephant token goes parabolic. And why do we think this? Because it has done it before. So this would be this line here, which was the last time that the elephant token went parabolic. And they are saying that the same thing happened before. So there is past precedent, historical precedent, for what people believe is going to happen very soon with the elephant token. Don't worry, you're not too late. That's why we're making this video today, so that we can get in, you know, this whole point. In March 2022, Bertha flipped the LPs, and soon after the price went parabolic. And here is the amazing part. If we stretch out the last post-parabolic info and overlay it on the progress since, we see something incredible. It is taking a bit longer. However, the pattern is almost exactly the same. Isn't that uncanny? The pattern is almost exactly the same, which means, yes, history is repeating itself. Now, we know that crypto works in cycles, or many people believe that crypto works in cycles, and this could be the elephant tokens cycle backed by the treasury's performance and the LP performance, right? It's like going back in time and having the winning numbers for next month's lottery. Just like Back to the Future 2, where that guy, what was his name, Bucky, got the sports book and he knew what the sports results were going to be in the future, and then he betted on them, and then he, he became a millionaire. Is this our opportunity to become millionaires just by betting on the future? High risk, high reward, that's what I say. Risk it for the biscuit. If people ask, am I too late, just show them this video. This is not financial advice. However, from a mathematical and historical point of view, it looks like this thing is about to take off. Ooh, the FOMO. The FOMO is about to take off, right? Uh, I feel the FOMO, and that's why we're going to quickly buy some elephant, and then we're going to listen to a little bit more information about the elephant token and why the flippening has just happened, right? So happy flippening everyone who's in the elephant system, who owns the token, and who is excited for the next steps in the ecosystem. Of course, Bank Teller and Elephant Money have their super fans, and they also have their haters. Uh, I'm pretty much planted right in the middle of this. I like to diversify my DeFi portfolio between pretty much everything that I think is going to print, right? And that's why I went into futures. That's why I've been holding the elephant token for a long time. And that's why I DCA it too. So I don't think it's too late to get into the elephant token. But of course, with expectation of a parabolic pump comes higher risk because if everyone's expecting a pump, 
often that pump takes longer to happen, right? So don't expect this to happen immediately. Uh, I, su I suppose it'll take a couple of months before it really gets going, I think, because of the expectation of it that it's going to happen, right? And we are still in a bearish market. I'd like to interrupt this video on elephant money to advertise my own NFT project because I'm a shameless shill. This is the Poops Lounge, where you can purchase poop NFTs on Polygon Network. You will then be able to use the NFTs to get early entry into ROI DAP miners, which I've created and are awesome, coming out soon. You get early access and a better miner rate by being early, of course, because of our special mechanism and very soon passive income from them. Please come to the site to purchase your own poop. And just so you know, you can also get a 10% referral reward on your poops, which is 0.01 ETH for every single poop that you refer to other people to purchase. So that is the Poops Lounge. Back to elephant money. Boom. Links in description. Right, so we're back to the elephant money site. I have 0.5 BMB. So what I want to do is I want to purchase that BMB right here. Buy. Um, come here and purchase. That's it. I'll get a 1.5% discount. Only buy it with BMB from elephant.money. And there we go. That's me done. Um, put that through on your ledger. I advise anyone who's using cryptocurrency to rubber up with a ledger. Very important. And the, I will then see my elephant balance continue to grow. I DCA about 100 or 200 bucks of uh, tokens into Elephant every month just to make sure that when this parabolic boost does happen that I will be in a great, great place. So let's continue. If you want to join some kind of partnership, what we can do is if you come to this drop down menu here, click on Partner Network. It's going to bring you to the Herd Partner Network. Now, I haven't actually done this yet. Um, here is my partner link. I will put it in the description. What I'd like you to do is to leave your partner link in the description also in the comments of this video. I'm going to choose one guy. I'm going to make this person my partner, right? Um, that means that I think when we purchase Elephant Token, then we will benefit mutually from it, I think is how it works. I'm not quite sure about that, though. But there you go. So get your... If you do have a partner network, then leave your link in the description. I'm going to pick one person and I'll leave my link in the description too if you don't have one. You know, referral bonuses are pretty good when they can be mutually beneficial. So I quite like that idea. Right, so that is Elephant Token. That's what's going on. So let's just check out this June Analytics because we do have this information on the flippening and we have the information on the uh, Elephant Treasury and the Elephant LP. So I'm going to uh, fire over to SK Crypto and we're going to check it out. Okay, so. Hey, Richie. Hope this message finds you well, brother. Um, wanted to share one other piece. Uh, I'm sure with all the data you've been looking at, you should look at this too. <clears throat> the chart below this, this voice chat right here, um, the red and the blue on the chart. I just want to give you a quick little history lesson real quick on the left-hand side of the chart pre-exploit, right? The red represents the size of the elephant treasury aka bertha right and she was growing until the exploit but specifically look at the blue as well the blue is the combined elephant count in the lps the busd and the b and b pairs combined right and zoom in on the left half of the chart and you'll see where they crisscrossed where the blue and the red crossed and then about three to four weeks after that, we crested up that elbow of the parabola and then went vertical, right? At that time, we were mainly building like the B&B &B oh. elephant pair, not the BUSD one. Fast forward to the right half of the chart, you can see the flippening is what the community calls it. But the red and blue, as of like an hour ago, just crisscrossed again, meaning Bertha is now larger than the combined LP pools, which this time we have grown equally in size and value, um, the BNB and BUSD pairs. Now check this out. It won't happen as fast as the last time, but this is a major milestone that you may want to touch on in your uh, video. And I'll leave you the Dune Analytic link here as well. But Right now, it's not going to happen like in three to four weeks like last time when we go vertical, 
But this milestone means, and because we're building the two LPs, we're reasonably looking at a 30 to 90 day window of us really accelerating going up the elbow of the next parabola. Bro, this is exciting. If you haven't loaded up on your um, elephant tokens, I would. Not financial advice, <laughs> but I would. <laughs> Not financial advice. Yeah, so what SK is explaining there, which I'm going to explain as well, is so this line here is the price of elephant token right here coming up. Um, now, we have this crossover of when Bertha right, the treasury of elephant token has grown larger than the combined LPs, right? Which is when the price was sitting just here, going up gradually, but nothing too insane. But then a few weeks after that stage, the price went absolutely parabolic, right? The parabola going up until finally it went up too high, too fast, and there was an exploit the exploit was to do with trunk, I believe, and a minting function. I can't remember exactly what happened, uh, but it's, it was bad because, of course, boom, collapsed again, right? Um, now we are coming into the future, and the flippening has just happened once again, which means if history repeats itself, the elephant price will continue to go up quite nicely until a couple weeks, months later, because now there is more BUSD in liquidity than uh, there was before, which means a more stable uh, price, essentially, right? But also better for sellers, because uh, it doesn't go down as much when people sell. It should mean, if past presidents is held accountable for this, right? If we are following the past president, that the price of elephant token will go parabolic once again. Yeah. It's very soon, a couple of weeks, a couple of months. So that's why people are loading up on Elephant Token. And good God almighty, it's exciting. So that's really cool. The other thing we want to check out quickly is the futures contract. So if I come to the DGEN DeFi wallet just over here, where we have a bunch of different um, projects in here, we do have Elephant Money in this wallet. Now, I, I've been meaning to actually get to work on expanding this, but we can quickly check out my futures vault not really in Stampede. I only played around with it to check it for the wallet. But if you are in Stampede, you can follow that on the wallet. And of course, you can follow the futures here too. So I have $13 available. I'm earning about $25 a day now in the futures contract. It's a fixed 0.5% daily ROI DAP. My deposits are 3,376, including my compounded. That's now up to 4,567. I've claimed out 1,190, but that, if you combine that, would add up to 4,500 because I haven't actually taken any profit yet from it. Um, so I can follow this every day. I use this because it works without my seed phrase. It's just an API connection to the futures contract and my wallet using the blockchain. So it's completely 100% safe. If you do own a Poops NFT, then the one I talked about earlier, then you are able to download this wallet and unlock it without any issues. So that's pretty cool. So if you're interested in that, please email me or get in touch in the telegrams. All links are in the description as usual. So that's futures, right? You can come here. Um, it's a BUSD contract. So my aim with the futures is to get up to $5,000. And then I'm going to start 50 50 ing it, right? I'll be claiming 50%, compounding 50%. Until I get closer to an ROI, once I get closer to an ROI, I will probably start putting more in to fully compound it again to get even larger, right? I just want to take some risk off the table because there's absolutely no point ever in DeFi, ever, let's make my face big for this, never ever suicide compound forever. It just never, hardly, rarely ever pans out for you, right? We don't know what's going to happen in the future. The Elephant Protocol has had issues before. I'm not going to sit here and say that it won't have issues again in the future. I don't know, right? I didn't cut the contracts. Um, <clears throat> so always make sure that even if you are 100% bullish on a project and you think it's you're fully convinced it's going to the moon, don't be that guy holding the bag. Try and get something off the table at any point, right? So that's my plan. I've been compounding this very well for four months already, so I feel it's about time get to 5,000 and then just take 2,000 probably off the table and then continue to to uh, work on my, my journey, right? 
Uh, I like compounding. I like compound interest. I'm not using any capital, which is going to affect my daily life with the futures contract, but it's now growing into a substantial amount of money, which is great to see. I have the power of DeFi, right? Yeah. So how does it work? I would just click here, my future. And then if I wanted to deposit, I would click here. I must deposit a minimum of 200 BUSD. If I wanted to compound this 13 BUSD into my deposits, I'd also have to compound by depositing 200 BUSD. There's no compound button. The only way you can compound is by depositing 200 BUSD minimum. That's it, right? So this is going really well. Uh, there is $6.2 million, $7.2 million deposited into this contract, which is insane. A TVL of 9.3 million BUSD in here. The other day, somebody put in $400,000 into the Elephant Futures contract. Let's see if we can find that. Yeah, this. Daily deposits, $462,000 put in in one day. The largest ever deposited into the Elephant Money Futures contract just happened three, four days ago, right? Um, Crazy. Other days, awesome days, 133,000. They had one of 149,000. The opening, the start of the co contract combined on the first three days doesn't match this insane deposit that just happened, right? Um, and another great one just yesterday, $45,000 going into it. So there's continued interest in this futures contract because it is one of the few places in DeFi right now, especially in the Binance Smart Chain, that is paying out really well. Um, in terms of who's gotten a return, right? Your return on your investment, 46% of them are in my situation, right? Which would be 694 wallets have between zero and 10% ROI on it. Moving on, 13% uh, have a 10 to 20% ROI. Only 181 uh, wallets have a 20 to 30% ROI. Halfway ROI is 135. Going all the way up to fully ROI is only six people are ROI on this contract so far. So generally speaking, the majority are in my position, which makes me also a little bit worried about that because uh, <laughs> we're all going to be pushing to ROI at the same time. So that's why I will really want to try and balance with you the bullishness of this ecosystem and the fact that it is growing really well, really steadily and getting insane deposits right now. And with the flipping happening, with the strengthening of the elephant treasury and the elephant token price, it really does back up the, um, the strength of the future's ability to pay back depositors right because if the continue if the elephant tokens continues to go up in price that means it's actually having to pay back less than the deposits that were put in you know like uh, kind of having a, a compound liquidity pool working on the deposit capital so that when it's paying back people it's actually paying back um, easily right without stressing the system to end this video we're going to have a look at this chart here this is the daily the overview of the futures pool so this is the busd treasury with the elephant treasury here right busd treasury five hundred eighteen thousand dollars elephant treasury 24 million dollars busd buffer pool three hundred sixty one thousand. daily liabilities forty five thousand. i'm assuming there the liabilities would be the estimated amount of payout per day that they have in protection in the BUSD treasury to pay out, right? The buffer pool then would be the treasury minus the buffer pool to get the daily liabilities, something like that. And then we have the elephant treasury, right? So knowing all that then, let's listen back to SK and see what he's saying about this. We also have this chart here, which is showing the launch of futures in the green here, the multiplier effect, linear token growth of here, the linear token growth of and exponential value growth. So the value growth would be the price of the elephant token, I believe. Yeah, price of the elephant token in the treasury and the purple would be the gradual linear, right, predictable growth of the amount of tokens inside of the treasury. So the token value going up, the amount of tokens going up as well, but the price is going up ex exponentially, but the amount of tokens which are in the contract are going up in an expected predicted rate linearly, right? So down in the image below this voice note, this is the overview tab in, or the yield tab on the futures page, right? Somebody dropped in $400,000, or BUSD, sorry in addition to the 100,000 that was already sitting there. So you're looking at $518,000. This is why this ecosystem 
is more sustainable than anything else we've ever seen in DeFi, bar none, point blank, call my bluff. (laughs) But check this out. At the time of that deposit, and we're looking at 518,000 right there, the LPs and Bertha were separated by about 10 trillion tokens, or maybe it was 8 trillion, something like that, separated the two. This is less than a week ago, by the way. Now, that $518,000, that BUSD treasury was implemented after the exploit, and that's the first major stopgap of where all incoming money goes into. And then in the background, there's a daily rate up to 50% that comes out of the BUSD treasury, it purchases elephant token, and then stuffs it into the elephant treasury. Okay, follow me. That's why I drew the blue arrow the way I did. Now, in today's prices, that $518,000 roughly translates into 2.5 trillion tokens. That's basically Bertha's pocketbook, right? Or her wallet. And so she went on a spending spree over this last last week, bought 2.5 trillion tokens, stuffed it into her, which then accelerated the flipping event because... The two and a half trillion tokens came out of the LPs and went in to Bertha. So it dropped the blue on the chart and increased the red on the chart. And boom, we've got the flipping as of today, an hour ago, brother. It's amazing, right? So coupled with that, this is how futures is sustainable. Check this out, bro. If you haven't figured this part out, let me blow your mind. Let's say Rich that this was you that put in that $518,000, right? That's your money. You fully expect an ROI of that amount back, right? But check this. When you gave Bertha, or sorry, the BUSD, when you gave Futures $518,000, it translated to two and a half trillion tokens into Bertha. But by the time you're owed back your ROI, okay, Bertha is not selling 2.5 2.5 trillion tokens to give you your money back. Follow me? Because at that time, because she continues to increase in size and value, and she's engineered not to dump, right? She sells less tokens to give you back your same dollar value. Follow me? So the 500,000, 2.5 trillion tokens today in the future will translate to her only selling maybe. 400 billion tokens, 800 billion tokens, maybe even 1 trillion tokens. But the point is she sells less tokens to give you back the same dollar value plus whatever you take out after that, right? That's the engineered model. That's the 41 contracts in the Elephant Money Protocol that is keeping this engine going and sustainable. It's all about the supply shock and squeezing the circulating supply. Um, I'll show one more graphic here, but basically uh, Bertha's token count grows linearly. And right now, today, this image is a little old, but this today she's valued at like 26 or 27 million. Remember, she's comprised of elephant tokens. So when the elephant token supply shocks 10x, 50x, whatever, let's just say 10x, the 25 million that you see in that image that she's valued at, she will 10x. She will be worth 250 million. That is how she is able to sell less tokens to give out the same um, dollar value back. So she is engineered to grossly, exponentially increase the asset value of Elephant Token, which pays off all the debts and liabilities of the entire ecosystem, which are also growing, right? You know, you're you're earning half a percent a day and you're compounding it however often. But the exponential growth of the liabilities is outpaced by the asset growth. And that's what this next chart uh, you'll see underneath. You'll see in purple, the token count of birth is going up linearly, but the blue is her value. It's growing exponentially. That is by design. So hopefully that equips you with some information. Let me know if you have any questions, bro. Thank you, SK Crypto K. So great guy, um, very well versed in the intricacies of the elephant money protocol because yes, it is extremely confusing, especially if your entry into DeFi is kind of of a novice or even an intermediate level, then it's going to be very hard to kind of 
understand these concepts. That's why I wanted to make this video. All right, so that is Elephant Money. I hope that this video was able to do what I aimed, which is to um, illustrate the benefits, the potential massive gains that we could be making with Elephant Money, but also to illustrate the risks involved with the protocol, the past present of risk that they have had, the uh, massive deposits that are coming into it now, which could in one way, on one hand, could help the protocol the way that SK was saying that the 50% of the elephant of the BUSD put into that first contract was then moved into elephant token, which then goes up in value, which means that they're paying back less than it was put in sort of idea, which is great, right? Um, really good idea. Um, <laughs> better they're just sitting it there than paying it back right uh but at the same time if the elephant money if the elephant token goes down in value that could compromise the futures contract right so these are these are things that i i do think about and that's why i'm playing with risk capital but i am dcaing into the elephant token quite regularly at the moment um because i believe that you know i saw it last time and i i had fomo i missed it man i was sitting watching the elephant token go up and then I watched Exploit and I was like, wow, okay. Uh, that is not the feeling I want to have. I, I hate having this feeling when, you know, like say something's done done a shape like this, right? And then you're the guy who bought it here. <laughs> like, uh, this is never great. You want, to, you want to be the guy who's buying it here, right? So we are at that point. So make your decision, stick with it, manage your own risk, do more research before you purchase if you want to. Don't FOMO in blindly. That's my advice for you for anything in DeFi. High risk, high return. City of the pants stuff. Exciting times though. Elephant money futures, elephant money token. And next I'll be talking about the NFTs. So look forward to that. Peace. Be good to each other. Don't get wrecked. Join the club.